Hey y'all, it's Cricket. How you guys doing? I noticed that we don't have as many come trails at the moment and that uh, I would try to catch a little video for ya. <coughs> Excuse me. Oops. This one seems a little choppy today. There we go. I'm trying to see with my eyes. It looks like there's a chemtrail right there that goes underneath it. Okay, so what time was it? Okay, it's 1.55. So I've been kind of doing that little experiment on the placement of the sun. I haven't really been doing it very organized or anything. <laughs> but let me zoom back out. Okay, so let me get back where I was in my normal spot. Okay, see, I am there, same spot on, this, on the porch. And then see how the sun is almost in between the two lines from this perspective. Of course, if I go down the porch and go out, it's going to be a little bit different, probably a little bit further up. But um, basically, this is about where the sun goes. So, when I notice in the morning, and when I'm right at the sink, probably between 8 and 9, the sun is here, in between here, where the trees are. It's just coming around the building where I can see it. And so, it probably goes up to, I can't get it in these photos right here anymore. Because, of course, you know, the winter solstice is coming and there's changes. But it's more than usual. And I noticed this last year. And I said this in my last um, video when I talked about this. But I'm just trying to explain a little bit more in case someone didn't see it. So it basically just kind of goes from over here. Just kind of up a little bit. And then it pretty much just stays at that level. And then it just goes south. Or excuse me, I said that wrong. It goes southwest, but it doesn't go so far in the west like it does in the summer. And then my theory is there's like some kind of earth wobble or and all the different changes like that that's making, you know, maybe with the sun, maybe, you know, maybe the moon's off a little, that's making them all kind of off. You know, and they have admitted, they being NASA, admitted that there's an earth wobble. And so, I mean, it's not impossible. And it's not like that huge of a difference. I mean, it kind of is because when I was a kid in the 1970s, my mom would always say, come back at high noon. And high noon meant the sun was way the hell up there. And I'm talking straight up, way up, not at the tree lines and at the telephone lines, or, you know what I'm saying, the telephone poles. They used to always call them the telephone poles, but I guess it's more the electric lines, but, so, I mean, you can see that it's not up very high, and it's almost two o'clock. And then, of course, you know, it sets, it gets darker a lot earlier, you know, which that's nothing, nothing new, nothing abnormal, but it's getting dark at like 4.45. <laughs> I went to the store, it was 5 o'clock, and it was dark. I'll have to look back on my photos. I, I got a moon video that I've put in, I'm putting together. It was quite interesting. And then I got some of the, there was a little bit of pink, um, lighting from the moon, or excuse me, from the sun that I was able to cap capture in the sunset from a, it was pretty far away, but it looked really cool with the way the trees were. And I just get excited because I can take photos at night, whereas before it didn't ever turn out, I mean, at all. I don't even have to use a flash and it works, looks nice. But anyways, um, so yeah, the moon and the sun just don't go up far enough. And they almost follow each other, at least right now. They're like following each other. So 
so yeah and you're gonna think i'm crazy oh she's just over exaggerating the changes of the seasons but you know i'm 47 <laughs> and i've seen a lot of seasons and they're just not quite right <laughs> I mean, I know Michigan has lots of, you know, in five minutes it can change 50 degrees. I mean, yeah, it happened a few days ago, a week ago. It dropped about 40 degrees or whatever, like it was just a couple minutes. But, I mean, that is normal. But the thing that's not normal about it is it's happening all the time. And it's a big drastic change. So it is, you know, our weather's changing. I've noticed some differences and it looks like some of it's manipulated and and some is probably just from the all the bullshit that they do to our earth of course and who knows what all technology they got floating around up there doing all this weird strangeness to our life on earth it sure does make some beautiful photos and videos, don't you think? There's a jet right there. I don't know. Life is weird. I know the skies don't look like they used to. That's for sure. Hey, you know what? I, I was remembering when I was a kid and I used to watch the moon and I would watch the sun and I used to I used to get freaked out because I thought that there was this black celestial object near the moon you know and I didn't think about it until just recently but I can't remember the names now off the top of my head but there's supposed to be some dark moon or something Rayu, no, that's, I think that's it. I'll have to look it up. But there's a lot of videos on YouTube about it. I just wish I could remember the names. I'm just outside kind of making a video on the fly, so I don't really look anything up all the time. So I'm just trying to go by memory, but I swear when I was a kid, I used to see something black like a black circle moon looking object and everybody you know all the adults around me would say that I was dreaming or daydreaming or just creatively thinking or something I was, my imagination was getting away with me and stuff like that <clears throat> but now that I think about it, <laughs> I think it was real. I don't think it was an illusion or hallucination or imagination. I don't know what it was, but it looked like a black moon. Yeah, I just can't get that out of my head. So I thought I'd kind of share that with you. I know there's there's some names about these black moons. Um, that's, there's like a an urban legend or there's like some kind of story whoops some little story about it um, and it's kind of like a name like Rayu or Renu or something like that oh uh, I think there's like a couple names and there's just a whole story about it just can't think of it right this second but I'll have to look it up like I said but yeah so here's my sky the sun's kind of in the chemtrail right now, so it's looking huge. See how it just amplifies? Almost looks like there's uh, two objects. And I'm not discrediting anybody with solar simulators because I believe that that's possible, but um, just kind of pointing out how the chemtrail cloud makes it look like there's two two objects there. Just an observation I just noticed. That's all. Nothing major, because the sun does isn't that big in relation to that. 
now. Trying to see if it'll pop back up so you can see it. Here it comes. A little bit. Okay. I gotta get back in. I gotta do some stuff. Take care of some things. And it's Saturday. And on Saturdays, I like to watch horror flicks. <laughs> we watch them during the day so Mom don't get spooked. So... And I got Netflix now, so I'm going to be watching a bunch of scary stuff. That looks cool. Okay, guys, I got a couple movies that I made. I just got to gonna check them out and then post them. Um... So I hope you guys have a great weekend. Um, I'll try to get those videos up. And I'm still trying to get some subscriber photos together. Somebody sent me a whole bunch. Um... A guy from you from the UK and I kind of lost them in my where I saved it so I'm trying to go through that and I want to post them and I got to send them to WSO too he wanted me to do that and I'm just trying to get a few things organized but it's kind of hard when you're busy but okay guys I just kind of wanted to fill you in let you know what's going on nothing major Oh, that cloud looks like it's eclipsing. <laughs> it looks cool. Alright guys, this is Cricket. Over and out. Peace.